Hey guys, Supreme Tuft here with another Lego Transformer. So here we have Ricochet. Now Ricochet is a Target Master, and I will have another Target Master coming out later in the week if I have time to film it. But yeah, he is a pretty bulky weapon, so you need a fairly large either Autobot or Decepticon to hold him. And here's a little handle right here. But something that I thought that you could do is you could also have this part be the handle and have it like this. Because then you could bring these pieces up and this part could be like a scope. Or you could even bring these pieces up to have like armor when you're doing it. But yeah, uh, when you don't have a transformer that has a clip hand, you could just hold it like this. But yeah. So, for a size comparison, here he is with stripes. And yeah. Here he is with comparison droid. As you can see, he is fairly large. Here he is with another target master that I've made, but do not have a name currently. And finally... Here he is with just a little ship I made earlier today. And yeah. So, that's pretty much it for this mode. So, to get him into his robot mode, what fr the first thing you want to do is bring these pieces out. And you want to lift up the barrel of the gun and bring it back as far as it'll go. You want to bring these pieces down, 180, and you just want to fold out the legs. And then you can angle them however you want, but I'm just going to leave them like this. Then you fold out the hand on each side. And then you just fold up these little pieces right here to make his body a little more slim. You can bring these down now, and you just want to bring up the head, and then I just like to rotate the eye a little bit. And there you go, here you have Ricochet in his robot mode. So, his back side, he is a little back heavy, just to the fact that his stock and weapon and barrel is right here, but a little trick you can do is you can unclip the barrel rotate this 90 degrees and then just flip this and bring it against it and that brings back a little bit of the kibble then you can just attach this to his hand then I just like to bring that down you can have it as a little weapon for him so I thought that was pretty cool and it's a good way to get rid of the back kibble that he has on him but yeah so for a size comparison here he is with stripes and yeah, here he is with the comparison droid. And here he is with the other target master. And you will see his robot mode in the video, but for now, I'm just going to keep it a secret. And finally, here he is with the little spaceship that I showed earlier. Just fix the wings quickly. As you can see in this mode, he does get very tall. But yeah, I think he's a pretty good version of a target master. So for articulation. I'm just going to take this piece off quickly and set it to the side. His actual hand can do a full 360 along with his wrist being able to go up that far and down that far. It is on a ball joint so it can do 360, go out that far and in that far. And then his arm is also on a ball joint so you could go in that far and out that far. 360 you can do that. And that's the same on both sides. He really doesn't have any head articulation other than the fact that it could go down. And this, and his eye can move. His feet, 
are also on a ball joint. So they can do a full 360. It's very stiff on mine though. And then they can go out that far, back that far, back that far, and out that far. Does have a knee joint. He kind of has a waist swivel, but it's blocked by this piece being out. But you could remove that. But yeah. So another little trick that I found out with him is he has the same way where how when Optimus Prime goes into a battle, he has a face mask. He kind of has a face mask. And what you can do to get it, and you can just fold this piece down. Yeah, he's got like a little shield from his one eye. And then he can just go off into battle. You could have him as like a guard, a sentry, all that kind of stuff. But yeah, so if you do build this, please be sure to give me credit. And a quick little note is that his waist joint is just this piece right here. And then his body, he's a side view. Move this out of the way. And then here's a back view. In case you want to build this. Because I probably won't be doing any instruction videos anytime soon other than for Mindbenders Pythra. But yeah. So like I said before, before I got sidetracked, if you do decide to build this, please be sure to give me credit. And don't forget to like and subscribe, but thanks for watching.